Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Put them down here, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very bold man. And you like men that way, huh? These drinks are not made correctly. There are no cherries. There were. What do I call you? What do I call you? Very well, we do without names. You are feeling the heat? No. You want to feel more relaxed? Is that it? You read my mind precisely. And you? I am always relaxed. No one is always relaxed. Try me. of a watch in an open field. Audible to Craig Sterling, one of the champions. Three people, Craig Sterling, Sharon McCready, and Richard Barrett, endowed with the qualities and skills of superhumans. Qualities and skills both physical and mental to the peak of human performance. Gifts given to them by an unknown race of people from a lost city in Tibet. Gifts that are a secret to be closely guarded. A secret that enables them to use their powers to their best advantage as the champions of law, order, and justice. Operators of the international agency of Nemesis. Name, Simenkin. Stabbed to death 48 hours ago in the Royal Reef Hotel, Montego Bay, Jamaica. He was traveling on this passport, posing as Jean Valentin, a French businessman dealing in plastics. Valentin was one of several known aliases for the gentleman. 
Sumerkin was, in actual fact, a rather dangerous GPU agent specializing in high explosives, from um, safe blowing to large-scale demolitions. Incidentally, he had one great weakness. Women. That must be a moral lair. That's what there is. You see, Sumerkin was um, entertaining in his hotel room when the young lady's boyfriend suddenly walked in. And if it hadn't been for that, we should have got this lead. Doesn't matter how hard you try, does it? One high rate lover and the whole thing falls to pieces. Plans never allow for the human factor. Yeah, just as well in this case, because MI6 and the CIA are very concerned to know what a top GPU agent was doing in Jamaica. Now, I think this lead might give you the answer. Wanted, a parrot that speaks Greek. Reply, box number 666. Now, you notice that the sixes have been inked into eights. Now, that advertisement appeared in the personal column of the Jamaica Daily Gleaner. and were eventually found in Semenkin's passport. Jamania? What? Yeah. Oh, good. Go ahead. A parrot that speaks Greek. Shows a sense of humor, at least. I hope I see the joke when the job's finished. That call was nicely timed. The um, box number was checked with the newspaper and the advertiser was the local gift shop. There's the address. This must be Sir Menken's contact there. Well, I sincerely hope so, because it's all we've got to go on. Oh, what have you arranged, sir? Well, it's obvious that a man with Sir Menken's qualifications cannot be replaced overnight. So one of us becomes the replacement. You have the idea, Richard, and to be precise, it is going to be you, Craig, that it's a passport with his new identity. You know, I wish we knew how a parrot that can speak Greek fits into it all. At a glance, I'd say that Sir Menken hands that clipping over to his contact. And uses it to prove his identity by changing the sixes to eights. Yes, well, that's an interesting theory. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works in practice. Won't it, Craig? <laughs> You can play them. <laughs> Nothing to it. Easy as eating pop or ice cream. Nothing to it. <laughs> you try. <laughs> Very good. Nothing to it. My change, please. Thank you. Enjoy your holiday in the sun. Enjoy it. What can I do for you, sir? Bongo drums? No. I got a parrot that speaks Greek. He mighty heros anthropos. <laughs> you Greek, huh? Well, I wasn't Chinese. I was born in Piraeus. My mother was Greek, my father was colored sailor. I sometimes get uh, homesick for the mother tongue. <laughs> this parrot, what do you say? He may, you know, kalopathy. Kalimera, kalinich. Stinias! <laughs> hey, your Greek's pretty good. This bird. When can I see him? What passport are you carrying? French. Maurice Boulin. Oui? Je suis rendu commerce de you. Parfait. We found nothing so far. Nothing, eh? Finally, that might be best. Still, we have to be sure. You better come inside, see if you have everything you need. I'll close the shop. We don't want any more customers. Calling White. Green calling White. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over. White receiving Green. White receiving Green. Over. Our guest has arrived. Make him welcome right away. Understand? Over. Understood. Repeat. Understood. Over and out. You're very well organized here. 
Of course. <laughs> it's the first time you work this zone. Have a good trip. Apart from the overcooked steak on the plane. <laughs> like your food, eh? Uh, I have a taste for the food, wine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you staying at the Royal Reef? Yes. Don't eat there. That enough for you? That's enough to wreck half of Kingston. <laughs> Where do you suggest I eat? Uh, Casa Paul. It has a nice uh, turtle steak and a chicken fricassee. Very special. Turtle steak. I never eat turtle steak. I like to experiment. Where are the detonators? In the icebox. <laughs> you can't keep those fellows too cool. You're a very wise man. Uh... Nico, Nico. Nico. Red stripe? Huh. Red stripe. Beer, beer. Ah, thank you, Nico. Thank you. These are electrically operated. You have an exploder? Of course. The latest type. Very compact. I showed to you. That won't be necessary. Stignasu. Stignasu. I'll show you the area already covered by Jules. These squares crossed out represent the area already covered. It's about uh, two thirds of the total possible area. As you. It's Maurice Boulin, the explosives expert. Does he know that so far we haven't found what he has to explode? Showed him the area we covered. I'm Corinne. This is Jules. We're due to take off in half an hour. I'm sure you would wish to join us. Yes. Yes, I would. Come in, Richard. It's not locked. School's the signorina. He'll get caught out one day. Craig is airborne. Airborne? Yes, he's all right, though. When he left the gift shop, he gave me the OK sign. Obviously, he wasn't alone. No, no, with a couple. A capable-looking woman and a rather tough-looking male. Hello. What's this about airplanes? Ah, yes, sir. I followed them to the airport and they took off in an HS-125. What's going on? Well, maybe Craig will be able to tell us when he gets back. There is one immediate danger, though. The real replacement turning up? Check. Look, I'd better go back to the airport. Why don't you... Cover the store and get a line on the owner. Right. Let's get moving, shall we? Enjoy your holiday in the sun. Enjoy it. <laughs> a mother, a father, a sister, maybe a cousin, maybe even a husband. I'm just browsing. <laughs> Must have some relations, madam. I'm really rather short on relations, I'm afraid. Beautiful girl like you must have uh, a boyfriend. Many boyfriends, yes. Thank you for the compliment. I'm looking for myself. Oh, for yourself. <laughs> what about this? You're back in Mayfair and it's raining on your penthouse. You take a cigarette and you're back in the island sun. <laughs> said, did you like it, madam? Mm -hmm. oh, I'll take it. I'll wrap it up for no, you. No, don't bother. I'll take it as it is. How much is it? Uh, Eleven dollars. <laughs>
fuel. One more turn, huh? All right, one more. character showed up. So that's what it was. I communicated? Well, let's just say I felt you were disturbed. That's an understatement. They haven't landed. Not before I left, anyway. Look, we've got to tip Craig off before Nico makes contact. I don't see how we can do that. I don't like the way things are shaping up. I don't like it at all. Green calling white. Green calling white. Okay. Green, I'm receiving you. Over. The package you have on board is useless. Repeat, the package you have on board is useless. Dispose of it before your return. Repeat, dispose of it before your return. Over. Message understood. We'll comply. Over and out. Is it? Huh? Don't talk. Don't talk. Act. Dump him. Dump? What did Nico say? Just that. Dump him. Morris is a phony. He must have been a CIA man. Well, he's dead now. But our cover here is gone. We must break up the cell at once. My instructions were the whole area must be searched thoroughly. If he was a CIA man, we would have noticed American air activity. That is true. The Americans would never miss the chance of playing at espionage games. Whoever this man Maurice was, it will take them at least a day or two to discover he's missing. And how long will it take us to finish the area? Two days flying. That is the answer. Yeah. We carry on. If he was working with a side man. This is the place he would be curious about. I will sleep here tonight. Jules, we take off at dawn. Huh? I'm certain Craig's still alive. They must have landed on one of those islands and left him there. Yes, but why? I don't know, but equally, why not? Well, it must be your feminine intuition, because I don't feel anything, nothing at all. But I do, Richard, I do. Can you get a line on him? Yes, I think so. See, I can feel that he's under some kind of stress. That's what he's communicating, and that's why it's so strong. Well, we're in Montego Bay. Right here. Pass me your pen. somewhere along this line. Well, if you're right, what we need is another angle to get a cross-reference. Well, why don't we go down to Southside, somewhere around Savannah Lamar? Great. Any 
any good. Longitude 80, latitude 20. You've got him slap in the sea. About 20 miles from a string of small islands. He could be that much out. He could be on one of those islands. Perhaps. Or on a boat. I don't know. I just don't know. Don't worry, Sharon. You know as well as I do, there's nobody better equipped for getting out of trouble than Craig. Unless it's you. Mm. I wonder what they could be up to in this area. We've got to find out why they chartered this aircraft in the first place. We might find the answers in the back room of the gift shop. <laughs> See that man in the bar? He's the one that left the gift shop with Craig. Time to improvise. What does that mean? Let's see what you can get out of it. Not uh, like that. Slip upstairs and change into something. Uh, what do you get to do? I'll keep an eye on him until you get back. sometimes. I'll find the top for you. There. You think that's everything? Mm-hmm. Oh. Allow me. Thank you. Are you, uh, are you vacationing? Isn't everyone here? How long? I like to travel alone. And you? Alone? It's pleasant, isn't it, not to have to rely upon other people's plans. One can do exactly as one pleases. And what, uh, what exactly is it that pleases you? <laughs> Sometimes. Not to be alone. Is that why you dropped your evening bag, huh? <laughs> it was quite deliberate. Most flattered. You know, you have a marvelous profile. You are very beautiful. You see, we have a lot in common. Why don't we dance? Ah. You are French, aren't you? You noticed. Is my accent so strong? No, but what you have, I like. Oh. Isn't it time we introduced ourselves? My name is Jules. Mine is Sharon, Sharon McCready. 
Want some things? Me too. So this channel. You want to dance again? All right. Oh, and afterwards, why don't we go to my room to have a tea Maria there? Huh? <laughs> so that was your suggestion. You are agreeable, no? I think I might be persuaded. Interesting girl, Sharon. Do you know that? Only interesting. Unusual. Better. Unusual in that uh, such a beautiful girl <laughs> is normally not so easy to... Lure into your death. Exactly, Sharon. Are you really so old-fashioned, Jew? Am I? So disappointing. Mm -hmm. You offered me a tea Maria, Jew. Where is it? You know, Sharon... I think... Yes, you do think a lot, don't you? I think that you are mocking me. Your sense of humour, it's slipping. Hmm. Humour's not on the menu. No? No. The Now you're relaxed. Very relaxed. Aren't you, Jules? Hi. I'm relaxed. You want to sleep. Your eyelids are getting heavy. So heavy. Close them, Jules. Now you're asleep, relaxed and comfortable. You like me very much, don't you, Jules? Mm -hmm. You're going to answer any question I ask, aren't mm -hmm. you? Why are you in Jamaica? Uh, I'm on vacation. Nico has commanded you to tell me why you're here. What happened on the flight today? What happened to Maurice, Maurice Boulin? Mm. You do like me, don't you? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then tell me what you're doing here. 
Schreiben von Wegwischen. In ten minutes, you can go to bed. Mm. We'll go into a very deep sleep, and you're going to awake with a hangover. Mm. You will have forgotten all about Sharon McCready. Mm. Did you ever met her? Mm. You understand? Mm. I'm on vacation. Oh, I got stuck in the gift store. I had to wait till Nico dropped off. Sharon, where's the map? It's in the top drawer. What about you? Did Jewel give you a lead? No, his subconscious was far too well trained. Oh, pity. And you? I got something, I think, yes. Before I went to the store, I paid a visit to the airport, found out a bit about uh, Nico and company. Now, they've hired an aircraft to search for possible treasure wrecks in the uh, shallow waters around the Cayman Group. The front, of course. It has to be, doesn't it? Anyway, at the store, I found a map and a grid, and I'm certain it indicates the area they've already flown over. You notice anything? They've missed out all the bigger islands. Exactly, the populated ones. Anything else? They've covered all the smaller ones, except those in the area where we plotted Craig's position. Right again. Tomorrow, we hire an aircraft and fly over this area. Nothing? Nothing. You are right, mister. You are right. Mm. You drink some of this, you'll feel better. It's water. Good water. Take it easy now. Thank you. I needed that. I swallowed a lot of salt. Boy, oh boy. The miracles, they never stop, huh? What? Nothing. I'm just lucky to be alive. Hey, what do I call you? The name's Clive. Craig. Thank you. He was in the sea a long time. Yeah, dawn yesterday. 16 hours. Why, you sure can't swim, even with one arm. <laughs> hey, I thought this place was uninhabited. Uninhabited? It didn't have any people here. Oh, there's no people. Only me. You're a person. <laughs> but there's no water. Or so they say on Jamaica and Cayman. But me? I can get water. What happened? You fell out of a boat? Uh, no, I, um, I fell out of an airplane. A plane? Yeah, well, somebody helped me. It wasn't that plane that crashed on the mountain. You had a plane that crashed here? Sure. A big one. You take me to it? Sure I can. But do you think you can make it? I mean, there's no easy way. It'll take two, maybe three hours. I can make it. You just lead the way.
much longer? About 20, 25 minutes. Give her full throttle. Okay. I've got a feeling that time's running out. Borsch. Borsch, come here. I've got it. It's down there. Wait a minute. I thought I heard that before. That's the same aircraft I came out of. They're looking for you? No, no, I think they're looking for your crashed plane. We'll get there first. No place on this island for them to land. Well, it's good to know anyway. There's nowhere to land, that's certain. You sure it was the plane? Of course I am. Didn't you see it? It's down there, all right. Corin, take us back. We'll pick up some equipment and parachute in. Oh, this full throttle. You know what that means? A lot of noise. No, they've seen the crash. That's bad. That's very bad. Can't be helped. Come on, let's move it, Clive. Confirming. Treasure located at... F-36. Repeat, F-36. Over. Further instructions are important and urgent. Repeat, urgent. To cut it to the minimum, meet us at the takeoff area with all necessary equipment, including the dispatcher. Repeat, over. Repeat, meeting aircraft in takeoff area, all equipment, including dispatcher, over. A landing time will be 30 minutes from now. Is that completely understood? Repeat, over. Message understood. Acting on it now. Over and out. Come back. Too many trees here for us to see it, though. That's a different sound. That's another plane. All one big nice to me, mister. developed a very advanced aircraft capable of incredible speeds and altitudes. So that's what they wanted the explosive aircraft for. To destroy it before anyone else finds it. Ah, that's got to be the answer. Of course, there's one snag. Yeah, no place to land. This is the search area. They must have spotted the wreckage. Well, there's an airport on Grand Cayman. We could pick up a boat from there. And beat them to it, you mean? Well, we've no way of knowing what sort of a start they've got, but they'd have to go back at least to pick up the explosives. Well, that gives us a fair chance. Right, that's what we'll do then. I'll plot a new course for the pilot.
Sergeant. Make sure you signal the drop before we're on the target. We'll use our lines on the way down. Mission is accomplished. Can you see the control unit? Not yet. Ah, yes, there. It's not damaged. Good. We're in luck. Good. You take care of that while I blow the main equipment. Here, take this. What is it? The Explorer. Ah.
capture. The boat got stuck. You should have swam here the way I did. And are you telling me that this instrument, in terms of radar, makes an aircraft invisible? Yes, sir. That's about it. They were obviously having a practical tryout against the U.S. radar defenses. And apparently it worked. The only thing that didn't work was the aircraft. No wonder they wanted it destroyed. If that wraps it up, we'll be hearing from you. No doubt when they get an anti-anti-radar device. Or when somebody advertises for a parrot that speaks Chinese. <laughs>